we started the process to develop the action plan, we had two very clear objectives in mind. We really wanted to deepen sort of policy coherence across our government ministries and with their agencies. And the other thing was we really wanted to increase investment in the bioeconomy so that there was a lot more examples on the ground of the bioeconomy in action. So people could visit, people could see, companies were involved, farmers were involved, and it really made it much more in a reality. So to really achieve that, we moved from having a policy framework that focused on research and innovation, uh, marketing competitiveness and development and policy coherence to really deeply integrating across uh, seven thematic areas. So governance and awareness, research, development and innovation, nature, climate, energy and circular economy, agriculture, food, forestry and fish, fisheries, communities, regions and cities, which was a, was a real new area. And um, also industry and enterprise and also then knowledge and skills. And what that allowed us is two things. One is to really uh, more deeply work with ministries and their agencies to have specific tasks that we're going to undertake over a two to three year period that's really going to embed the bioeconomy. And then on top of that, bid into all sort of active processes across the government and in EU funding and co-funding to really mobilise the bioeconomy. We started off by really looking at our coherence with ministries, how were, how were we really engaging with them and, and how was that working. We, we then undertook some reporting with our state agencies, how were they implementing the policy statement that had been in place since 2018. And then what we did was we set up a stakeholder forum and what we did there was we worked with the stakeholders who were people who were working in the area of either producing biological resources. so farmers, fisheries organisations, horticulture groups, etc. Uh, groups that were processing biological resources and then a lot of interested stakeholders, either environmental interest, regional, rural interest, community interest, etc. So we took them through a process of sort of all agreeing uh, what we all believed was the bioeconomy concept, how we described it, how you pictured yourself within there. And then we uh, worked with uh, various different workshops with them to look at key areas that they identified, regulation, uh, education, training and skills, and how, how to have a more collaborative approach. And basically, through the workshops, came up with some set solutions that they were identifying. And then also we brought them to places. We brought them to show them a climate neutral farm. We brought them to see a biorefinery in Hungary. And really, by this group networking and, uh, and seeing the bioeconomy action, they started to come up with very good suggestions. So in the end, when they reported to us, they came up with 15 concrete actions and a, and a proposal that the government invests in bioeconomy demonstration initiatives to really allow them to play a stronger role in bringing the bioeconomy into action on the ground.